What's going on guys, it's me Decats. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a spawn for your server. So right now we're on the Unite SMP community server, IP in the description if you'd like to join. And this is the server spawn that we have currently, it's been up for about a month and a half, maybe two months, and I think it's time for a makeover. So I built these mountains using world edit, we built a dirt hut, it later got changed to wood, and inside the hut we have a whole bunch of sign locations. So the main thing that we want in the spawn for the future, obviously, is something that looks good, something that's catchy, but really just a place to kind of display all of the signs everywhere. So our server currently is on 1.16.2. I can update it to 1.16.3, but for the meantime, we're just going to run it on 1.16.2. The plugin you're going to want to get is World Edit. If you're running any server with plugins, World Edit is basically a necessity. If you don't have it on your server, then just get it because it's got so many things you can do with it. It's such an amazing and versatile plugin. And it's what we're going to be using for the spawn today. What you want to do is go on Google, search up world edit bucket, and then pull the file for your version on the server. So we just grab the current one, 7.2.0, which runs on 1.16 and plus. So that's the version that you want. It doesn't have any prerequisites, but I would recommend downloading other things as well, like World Guard, um, Essentials, just a bunch of other things. World Guard is very important for protecting the area as well. Um, and World Edit, World Guard are from the same uh, developer. Where do you find a spawn build from? There's two places I would recommend. There is the free option and then there is the paid option. If you want a free spawn, I would just recommend going on Planet Minecraft. That's like the original. If you come to Planet Minecraft over here and you click maps, it'll show a whole bunch of user submitted maps. And what you can just search is, you know, spawn. And then you'll get a whole bunch of server spawns that you can see here. And then you just find one that you like, download it. It might be a world file, it might be a schematic. The thing we want is schematics, and schematics works with world edit. So you can see here this is a map. So if you download this world, you get a map. Yeah, and if you download a map, you're going to want to get multiverse for your plugin so that you can import the world. And then using world edit, you can copy the spawn and transfer it to your survival world. If you want a tutorial for that, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video explaining that process as well. But a really great tool for Minecraft server owners is mcmarket.org. If you haven't heard of this website, then allow me to introduce you to it. This is a place where you can buy Minecraft servers that are already made. You can sell your Minecraft server, you can buy templates, you can buy maps. Yeah, it's all pretty premium. It is for the server owners that are willing to spend a little money. It's also got advertising. Um, you can hire staff through this and builders and all that shebang. This is probably the premium place for Minecraft server owners. I did have a video idea of buying a Minecraft server for you know 10 to $100 and seeing what kind of turnover and how much money I can make off of it within a certain time frame. So if you do like that idea, please also let me know in the comments and I will totally make something like that because I think that would be a really fun thing to do. But what we want here is under the products tab, we have established servers, pre-made setups and pre-made builds. So pre-made setups are basically like plugin files. You just download all the plugins and import it to your server. And then we've got pre-made builds. So we want a pre-made build, obviously. But you can see here that there is a lot for sale. There is so many things for sale here. Yeah, this is Odyssey Builds. This is the one I was actually going to go for. I found a Skyblock spawn that I really like that will work for survival as well. It's this one over here, the Calm Village spawn. And I pulled it up a couple days ago. Um, it costs $4.50 and it is a schematic file type. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this and be back with you guys in just a sec. Okay, so as I've mentioned in the past, I use Bisect Hosting for my Minecraft servers. I'm going to show you how to install the schematic onto your server. Now you can use this using an FTP process like FileZilla, which is what I would normally do. But you can also just do it through the website and I'll just show you that because it's much more simple. So this is the template, the panel of the Minecraft server. We want to go into the file manager. And so this is what a server looks like. You got the plugins, you got the different worlds, and then you got all this generic stuff over here. We're gonna go into our plugins folder. And then in here, we have the world edit folder. The world edit folder gets automatically created when you import the world edit jar onto your server. And then you wanna to come to the schematics folder and click upload. And then we have the schematic that we just bought over here. 
We're just going to import that onto the server. Going to do its little thing. And it is all done. The bang. It's all done. Okay, so we're back on the server now. I'm just going to reload world edit so that it updates the files. And so this is the main world for the server. I'm going to go onto a test world that I use to make sure that the map is running correctly and that it is looking good. We do have a world set up for testing and I've created it using multiverse. We type slash multiverse teleport flat. And there we go. This is my creative test world. But yeah, we're going to type slash schematic list. And you'll see that we have this one over here, which has a really, really long name. And I'm going to change that name because whew, that's a long name. So let's type the same thing that we did before. Schematic load spawn dot schematic. Cool. Now it's loaded. All right. Now it is assigned to our clipboard. So we're just going to type slash paste and see where it goes. See where it puts it. This might crash the server. I don't know. It's quite a big build. You can see that it is 2.9 million blocks. So it might crash the server. There's nobody on right now. So... That's going to be all right. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so there we go. This is the spawn build. It is quite a decent size. It's not too big. It's not too small. Got a few houses. It is exactly as described. So this is a, this was a skyblock spawn. So it's got things here for like crates and whatnot, but we can repurpose all of these things. The reason I chose this spawn is because it has lots of different little houses. And I kind of plan on putting all my information signs in the houses. So we can have a house for protection stones and then have a house for um, kind of default commands, one for creators, one for YouTubers, the whole shebang. I'm hoping that whoop, these spawns do not have an interior, so we'll have to build that up. But yeah, I'm really happy with the way this has come out. This is the new spawn for the server. And then what I can do is I can just load in the schematic when I want to use it again. Or I can just come back here and then copy slash paste the entire thing and then move it wherever I want. Or I could just create a new schematic from this file type as well, just depending on what I feel like. I'm wondering if these are supposed to be up or down. I'm not too sure. The last thing I want to show you is something that you can do with WorldGuard. So what we would want to do is create a spawn protected region so that no players are able to kind of mess around with things. What you want to do is grab your wand and select two points. So grab this one over here. And then we'll come up over on this side. Oops, so now we have our two points in range. And what you want to do is type and uh, RG create new spawn, whatever the name is. So now we have a new region. We can type slash region info and you can see that we are within the region. We step outside of it and type the same command. We're in the global region. Yeah. This is the new region. You can add a whole bunch of flags. We can do RG flag new spawn build deny. And that means now that players will not be able to build when they're in the spawn. And there are a whole bunch of different flags you can do. I think if I just misspell it, it'll give me the whole list of things that you can do. So there's things basically like you can't place blocks, can't break blocks, you can't use signs, you can't take damage, you can't PVP, you can't... Mobs don't spawn, just a whole bunch of different things really. And they're all here. And that's what we're gonna use to kind of create the protected region for the spawn that players obviously don't grief it. Um, but yeah, that is basically my tutorial for a new spawn. But yeah, we have a building competition on the server. It ends tomorrow. If I'm not happy with the entries, I'm just gonna use this spawn here that I've purchased. But I also wanna do other server development stuff in the future. So if I do create another server, I do have this spawn that I've already purchased. It only cost me $4.50. I think it looks pretty good. And, you know, it saves me, you know, a couple of hours to build this thing. So I'm very happy with the product. And just remember, this was bought through MC Market. And the build team that made this was Odyssey Build. So if you want to check them out, links will all be in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial thing. Um, I really enjoy doing these tutorial fast-paced videos. So, yeah. In your boy cats, if you want to see more like it, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe. Let me know in the comments what kind of things you want to see in the future, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.